Hello. Our devotion for today is entitled, I Say to You, Arise. And it is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 7, verses 11 through 17. Jesus raises a widow's son. A Jesus went to a town called Nain, and his disciples and a great crowd went with him. As he drew near to the gate of the town, behold, a man who had died was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and a considerable crowd from the town was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said to her, Do not weep. Then he came up and touched the buyer, and the bearers stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, arise. And the dead man sat up and began to speak. And Jesus gave him to his mother. A fear seized them all. And they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has arisen among us, and God has visited his people. And this report about Jesus spread through the whole of Judea and all the surrounding country. A death is our enemy and keeps us in bondage. That's the realistic Christian view of death. A death is not natural or something that we can befriend. Deep in our nature, there's a very real feeling that death for us is something frightening, something that shouldn't be allowed to happen. We weren't meant to die. Death is a sign that a catastrophe has happened, that life has become something it never should have become. It's both sound and correct to be afraid of death and experience it as an adversary, the destroyer, the foe. The funeral procession that is coming through the city gates in Nain shows us how agonized we are by death, our foe. The sorrow here is as desperate as it could be. There's a young man dead. Behind the buyer is a widow who's lost everything, even her livelihood and security within the community. Since the funeral must take place the same day, she's had only a few hours before they shovel the dirt into the grave to ponder the most precious thing she had. Then Jesus comes. What he does is what he always does when performing a miracle. Preaches and gives us a lecture, a promise to all of us. He shows us that our enemy, death, has met its match. He shows us that there's a a possibility, just one possibility, to escape the power of death. He says the same thing in deeds that he later says in words. He is the resurrection and the life, and that he who believes in him will never see death. Exactly what he said here in name. I say to you, arise. He has the power to say to all of us at our graves, and he will. Being a friend of death can mean resigning and surrendering, trying to accept the inevitable that we all have to die. But God has put eternity into man's mind. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11. And therefore, it's not so easy to wipe out the feeling that death is the destroyer. But that's not the point either. We can't come to grips with death on our own. And that's why Jesus, in our text for today, has shown that he is always willing to reach out to us.
Let us pray. Without you, Lord Jesus, death is just a tremendous darkness, a huge mystery. No one can say what we'll meet on the other side. Some people say it's all over, but no one knows for sure. And no one can say when darkness will overcome us. We can try not to think about it, but it overwhelms us again. We see people who are younger than us go there. When is it our turn? You know when, Lord. Therefore, we leave it all to you and only pray that you are also with us then. For the sake of your faithfulness, Jesus, we pray in your holy name. Amen. God's blessings. I'll see you next time.